I'll admit, this is not going to be an easy battle, to say the least. Um, I have broken over level 50, but even with that, um, we're gonna need some luck here. Um, I do have a strat involving rollout. I'm kind of kicking myself a bit for giving up Dynamic Punch for rest. Because Pikachu doesn't really have the defensive tanking ability to make good use of this ability unless it's vastly overleveled. Um, but yeah, we need to use Thunderbolt on Dragonair here. Twice. And hope that, you know, we're lucky and we don't get hit by Thunder Wave more than once. Because we do have a berry to cover that. Then we go to rollout. And I gotta hold this dragon here. Yeah, this damage just enough for to finish it off. Um, then we need to just keep going with rollout, and we should hit um, Kingdra with our most powerful rollout and just kill it. Assume we don't miss. Gosh darn it. Well, assuming we don't have paralysis go off. We'll still be fine, but, you know, <laughs> one for chance, you know, we could get screwed here. Plus, there's the missed chance. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna make it up to Kingdra, who's probably gonna try and hyper beam us to death. But as long as we make contact, it's over. Oh, it went with smoke screens trying to mess with my accuracy, but it didn't save itself. It still went down. Okay. That actually worked better than I thought it was going to. I thought I'd have to try this at least a couple times to get through. I mean, I practiced it, but, you know, I, I you know, figured you know, I'd have to do a couple times, you know, before we did the got a good recording of it. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the stupid Dragon Fang. And you can't just trade a Dragon Fang to the game to get around this, um, she'll know. Like, if you treat yourself a copy of it, she knows. Oof. She's like, I'm disappointed in you, now go do what I told you to, you know? But I want to go heal first. For obvious reasons, because, you know, I don't want to have my Pikachu paralyzed. Though, in all honesty, I, I, I thought she would went for Hyper Beam, you know, just trying to knock me out while, while I'm paralyzed and still rolling, you know? Like, like, why not? But, yeah, um, if she'd gone for Hyper Beam, maybe she could have knocked us out? Or maybe she was gonna be just a bit short, so she's just like, eh, smoke screen. I mean, it wasn't a bad idea. It's not like I'd be able to rest and recover. I mean, Kingdra would do way too much damage for me to bounce back from it. I had to rely on that rollout strike to finish things. It was sort of an all-or-nothing strategy there. Oh, well, look at the bright side. At least we don't have to do the quiz questions in this version. Because that always annoys me. It's like, I don't want to spend time answering your dumb questions. Like, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't matter what you say, you still get past them. Oh, did I never uh, activate certain HMs? Oops. Okay. Um, yeah. Polywag. Um, yeah. We'll, uh, chuck Hypnosis. And we now know Whirlpool. And we might as well give you Waterfalls while we're at it. Oh, uh, Water Gun. Yeah, I kind of think this would be better if we had the physical special split, because it'd give Gyarados a move it could actually use. I'm just not impressed by its special attack stat, what can I say? Ah, that's a rare Jatini. Huh, do I catch it just because it's there? Problem is, I can't really attack this thing without knocking it out. Damn, 
damn, even my rollout on the first strike was enough to knock it out. I mean, 40 levels of difference, I should have guessed that, but... I didn't think I had a good shot catching it in the ball without hurting it a little bit. I just hope you know we do just, just slightly, uh... Under its its maximum health there, then they'll just chuck a ball at after we missed a rollout. It was worth a shot. Unfortunately, I don't think we have an escape rope right now. Uh, I'll double check, but we skipped over quite a few items. Yes, yes, you recognize my true power, so I now have a rising badge. Of course, our next trick should be go pay uh, the professor a visit. After all, I would like a copy of the Master Ball. Ah, yes, Dragon's Breath. But it can paralyze people, so you know, it's quite dangerous. Yes, thanks for telling me the obvious. I've been there before. I know, it's there for the first timers, but... I get kind of tired of seeing it every time, you know? Yeah, no, um... Shortcut for us here. We're gonna have to go back out the old-fashioned way. Because I don't have access to dig or teleport either. I suppose that does give me a reason to try and catch a, an Abra at some point, maybe. But I don't know if its ability would work inside here. Probably not. Uh, it's whatever. And we're good. After this, we can just fly. Fly. Oh no, not another phone call. Oh, yeah, telling us about the Master Ball, yep. Of course, the real question is, what happened to the GS Ball? <laughs> it, it just got quietly dismissed. That, that's what happened to it. I'm still mad about that. Just like, like, they teased us for so many seasons, and they just dropped it. So, like, well, it was gonna have Celebi, but the movie already did that, so, uh... You get nothing! Like, no! But, I'm sure we can use this for a mighty Snorlax. Just to take its leftovers. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Till next time, man. See ya.